Hi everyone, it's Liam here from A Shot of Wildlife and I have some fantastic news. I just saw a post on Instagram or Twitter that said that there was an otter in the centre of the city in Norwich and sure enough, I've come down and just under that tree over there, there's an otter sitting up with a dead fish. Fantastic, I can't believe they're still here. After that last one died in the crayfish trap, I thought it was going to be months before I saw one again. But here we are in the centre of Norwich and there is an otter right there. Fantastic. Norwich has a population of around 200,000 people and this island is about as central as you can get whilst being on the river. This is in fact the first place that I ever saw an otter but that was several years ago. It was after dark and the otter didn't hang around. This one on the other hand was more than happy to pose and gave me the best encounter with an otter that I have ever had. Despite some confusion, there is only one species of otter in the UK, and that is the Eurasian otter. They are the most widespread species in the world and can be found along rivers and coastlines all across Europe, some parts of Asia, and even in North Africa. Adult males like this one are known as dogs, and after a few minutes, he slipped into the water and began to move upstream. I thought he was going to head out of sight, but I was wrong. I walked to the next bridge over the river and couldn't believe my luck when he came and stopped less than 5 metres from where I was standing. Sorry for the camera work here, I'm passionate, not professional. At first I thought he was trying to eat a piece of plastic but soon realised this is actually more of the fish that he must have caught earlier. Some people believe that otters will kill for fun but in the natural world that is simply not true. Yes they may kill things that they cannot eat there and then but for them this is money in the bank. If they are left undisturbed they will return to finish their meal. Even a large or sick fish would not be an easy catch so it makes no sense for them to be wasteful. Otters are what's known as a keystone species. This means that their presence affects lots of the other creatures that they live near and helps to create a more balanced and healthy ecosystem. After showing off for a few minutes, this one swam back downstream to the island where I'd first spotted it and finished most of its meal. Otters are sometimes confused with the non-native American mink. The two species are related, but mink are quite a bit smaller and their tails end abruptly. See here how the otter's tail is long and tapered to a pointy end. After eating his fill, he had a quick splash in the shallows and then it was over, he was gone. Well, just like so many other times before when I've been filming otters, he decided he'd had enough of the video shoot, slipped into the water, no trailer bubbles and I haven't seen him again since. So. That is the end of this video, but if you enjoyed it, you might also like these other two British wildlife videos. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.